Natasha, another warm welcome to Careers and Culture. Firstly, Lutfia, thank you so much for having me again. It's such a pleasure to be on Careers and Culture. Uh, well done on the fantastic job. How did you adopt a career in the modeling and acting industry? Okay, so how did I break into modeling? Wow. Okay, so I think I started at the age of 12. My first pageant was Miss Teen India South Africa. I was 12 years old, the youngest contestant. I think that was the defining moment where I literally fell in love with the catwalk and the camera and it just did not stop from that moment. What was the challenges that you have faced in South Africa as a growing artist and as a model? But yeah, I have um, a theory in life. I don't speak of the negative. So um, with no negativity attached to it, I did, of course, as any other career, I did face a few challenges, not detrimental or, you know, not, nothing that uh, blew me off um, the industry completely or my passion for it. I think uh, basically I just take the positive with me. So if there is any negative, I just leave it behind. It doesn't really bother me at all. But it, it, it was really difficult breaking into the industry. But I think when, once I got my first leg in, I just never stopped. I mean, I've traveled the entire world. I leave to Pakistan Fashion Week next week. And then I'm off to London for India Fashion Week London. Um, so I've, I've grown in the industry tremendously internationally. And it's, it's a blessing. Traveling abroad internationally and coming back here to South Africa, how do you differ international modeling standards to South African standards? I think, I think we, we got it going on here. We got it going on. I mean, our standards have increased in the past three to four years. Um, I've done SA Fashion Week. It's more or less very, very similar. But of course, internationally, you can imagine, I mean, the heart of the fashion industry is I've modeled in London, um, I've been to New York, I've walked the ramps in Paris, I've, I've been all over the world. So I guess it's also the cultures and the different nationalities, it's the different um, fashion industries uh, that differ from South Africa. But I, I think uh, in terms of the industry and our standards, we are very much uh, up there in the rankings and uh, we are growing and it's becoming more and more fabulous. Um, so definitely South Africa, yes. We are of international standards. I mean, we've had so many of our South African designers showcase at New York Fashion Week. We had our local models. I mean, Candice, look at her. She's a Victoria's Secret model. So we have lots of talent in, in terms of designers and models. And the industry is growing, and I'm very proud of the South African um, fashion industry. 2016 has been an even bigger and greater year for you. We would love to know about your boot camp in South Africa and how that's grown and prospered and how do you see yourself five years from now and what are you doing with this boot camp and the motivational programs that you're running in South Africa? Lutfia, it started in 2011. I was a little tiny tot. I was inexperienced, but I knew in my heart that I wanted to empower the youth. I was actually, I'm, I'm, I'm in my 20s, so I'm fairly, very, very young. Uh, but my calling is to empower the youth of South Africa, specifically females. And I founded this in 2011. Uh, it is called Model Camp. It's running for the past five years. We actually celebrate our birthday this year, July. Uh, we're turning five years old. It's my 10th successful camp. So this is your big, um, this, this will be the biggest boot camp this year in July. Yes. Yes, it is uh, one of the biggest because it is our birthday, so it's going to be a proper birthday celebration. And uh, the reason I created this is to empower the youth of South Africa. And I've been blessed because we have successfully hosted Model Camp in Kauteng, in Bloemfontein, in the Free State. So it's traveling around South Africa. It's growing. It's becoming um, more and more greater and more powerful. Uh, it's attracting much more of our our underprivileged youth which is what i want to do with this camp um so yeah it's basically uh three days and two nights so we travel all over south africa we travel to the south coast the next one is on the 22nd of july we are traveling um to the south coast and yeah it's a jam-packed program so we have everything dealing from etiquette to self-esteem, confidence upliftment, we have motivational speakers, um, appearance, fitness, how to have that beautiful model figure, you know, how to take care of yourself. Um, we have 
nutritionists, we have skin specialists that come on board, hairstylists, makeup artists, designers, agents, you name it, everything dealing with the fashion industry is at Model Camp. It is on the 22nd of July, it is for three days, two nights, and it's something I believe every single female in South Africa needs to experience. Take us through what goes down at camp. Before I have to keep some secrets, I can't give away all, um, but basically we arrive at our destination around 7 p.m. after traveling on a bus, so it's, um, you can imagine, 60 young women on a bus. Um, so we arrive at 7 p.m. and I am an academic. I have my first level CTA honors in accounting. So I'm very much into empowering the youth in terms of education. So the first night is very academic, it's very intellectual. So we have debates, we have discussions about current South African issues. Um, we have a whole lot of uh, team building and it's very, very educational. So the first night is very, very much intellectual. And remember, I mean, if you look at our pageants, you can't just be a beautiful face. You have to be smart. Um, if you're not smart in any industry, you know, you won't be successful. So that's what we try to instill in the youth, in uh, our attendees. And that's the Friday night. So the Saturday is absolutely jam-packed. I mean, it's a full day. Um, our girls don't sleep at all, so they're running like on no sleep for three days and two nights. Uh, this, on the Saturday, we have a pageant at the end of the um, of the day where whatever we taught them during the day, they have to now bring it all together and display it at the pageant. Uh, we then um, announce an ambassador for each model camp, so there's a winner. And then we have graduation on Sunday where they get their photos in a CD, on a CD and they have their certificates with a little graduation ceremony. So it's something that's really, really um, educational, you know, um, it's such a didactic experience. I think every female should definitely, definitely enroll into one of our model camps. It's a must. What motivates Natasha Singh on a daily basis and how do you keep yourself so prim and proper as a model and actress? Wow, <laughs> what motivates me? Uh, what motivates me? I think Natasha Singh motivates me, eh? that little um, voice in the back of my head. I think God motivates me. I'm very, very spiritual and um, very, very deep in my faith. So I think it's waking up with a purpose you know not just something superficial as much as I am a, a model there's there's no superficial element attached to it I'm very much a model but I'm much more a role model and I think it's having a vision having a vision and wanting to change the world for the better uh, that's what motivates me and definitely um, my goals my inspiration I mean what I want to do um, I want to change the world um, you're gonna see much more of me bigger platforms you know I want to do big things I want to do great things um, I want to set a good example and I want to leave a legacy the highlight of your career can you take us through that Wow the highlight of my career I I have so many highlights say um, but it will definitely be uh, being compared to Carol Gracia, who is an Indian supermodel. Um, so I did India Couture Week in Delhi last August, and the media made me and Carol walk out together so that they could literally blow up the publicity of how similar we are. So Carol is um, my senior, so she's um, much older than me, but everyone refers to me as the young Carol Gracia. And I take that as a huge compliment because she is a world-renowned supermodel. And um, having, having been compared to someone of such um, greatness was definitely a highlight for me. It's also, also a highlight would be, I mean, modeling for Manesh Malhotra, um, Varun Bale, Gurav Gupta, modeling all around the world for big designers. Um, definitely, that, that is something I would have, I mean, I, it's a dream come true. If you had to give our audience out there successful motivational tips, what would you say to them? What would you say to South African youth out there? Lutfi, I, I am a young uh, businesswoman, so sometimes I don't get taken seriously because of my age. Um, but I think if you are firm in your belief and if you are strict with your vision, um, they have no other option but to take you seriously. 
So I think it's definitely stick to what you know. Um, don't be scared to uh, venture into something bigger. Remember, every single um, expert was once an amateur. So don't be scared. Keep your faith. As you know, I'm really, really, really staunch with positive energy. And uh, what you give out is what you attract, the law of attraction. So definitely stay positive in everything that you do, regardless of the negativity that may surround you. Remember this industry, you're going to get haters by the dozen. I've experienced it and I would like to send your kisses for it has um, definitely strengthened me. And my skin is absolutely thick. Um, I tell everyone I live in a little bubble. Uh, nobody, no one is my shrine. No one enters my shrine. So live, find your bubble, find your safe place, stay in there, even though there's different forces outside of you. Don't let it get to you. For every single barking dog, if you're going to stop and stone them, you're going to definitely come off your path. So stay on your path regardless of the other elements that may come your way. And um, just believe in yourself. I believe that if you believe, if you believe it, if you believe it, you can achieve it you can definitely achieve it. You just have to believe it. And um, yeah, don't be scared to uh, network. Remember your network is your net worth. Um, so go out there and just grow your brand. Branding is so, so, so important. So build your brand, stick to your brand, believe your brand, find out what it is that's different about your brand and sell that concept remember in everything you are you are a business plan natasha singh is my business plan natasha singh is my brand that is my business and um definitely definitely network find the right um contacts and grow from there